Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is JUnit. JUnit is a simple open source framework to write and run repeatable tests. It is an instance of XUnit architecture for unit testing framework. Unit JUnit, originally written by Eric Kama and Kent Beck, has been important in the evolution of test-driven development. Means first you write the write the test cases and then you write the business logic and automate the unit level test cases unit testing help belongs to test a single unit of code which can be a single class for java i just want to show you a picture you have a class and you have independent methods you have methods in the class and you have to write j unit test cases in such a way that it tests only this method independently so when you pass some value it returns some value you should check the expected value so it should test only this method independently okay and you have to write another method another test method to test this method independently so this unit units you should check that's what it this talks about belongs to a single unit of code JUnit helps us to code and test both during the development JUnit ensures that modification in the code will not break your system without your knowledge it helps to automatic automatically run your test cases it JUnit helps to test legacy code automatically it is less time consuming if you are doing manually to test the legacy code it takes a lot of time rather than instead of that you can write JUnit test cases and you can use it for long run just for example I have written a method for calculating a factorial whenever you pass a way, uh, pass an integer between 0 to 12 it will calculate and if, if you give more than 12 it will throw you legal argument exception so how do I test this a lot of combinations are there so how do I test it so only this method okay I have written a lot of combinations. If I, if I pass 0, what happens? It should be 1. If I pass 1, it should be 1. If I pass all possible values between 2 to 12, what is C? What is the expected value? Then if I pass m negative value, what happens? Minus 1 or something. If I pass more than 12, what happens? Okay. So these are the combinations in order to test this method. So if I if I get all the all these test cases passed the confidence will be built more so I'm going to run this again can you see here I'm going to run this test factorial let's see how exactly it works yes it passed all the test cases okay just for case uh, for example just for uh, demo purpose I am just giving four say how a test case will fail just for that I'm just going to run this so this test case has failed we'll say here so this is how you can check your JNU test cases so it builds a lot of confidence that okay this code works properly and independently this particular unit works properly hope this video is useful thank you and all the best